I'm not confident he he's he's going to be. I don't know if they 25th Amendment him, maybe. But he might just be sitting. In, he might be sitting in a wheelchair with his jaw hanging up and being like, I can't do it. I think in some ways, Joe Biden is happier than people would expect him to be right now. I agree. I mean, yeah, he I, doesn't like the way he was pushed out. It was a coup. They he, shove in Kamala and she gets her butt kicked. And I think he and Jill are just like, she this is red. awesome. We love it. She wore red on she, election yeah, day. She wore red to the vote. Day. I mean, don't think that's. I mean, she, she but, didn't wear her normal like floral drapery. I don't. I don't couch cover or whatever she wears. She wore <laughs> solid red to go Relax, voting. I don't think. <laughs> I don't think Joe Biden uh, chose to drop out. What? I, so apparently, the rumor is internal polling had Trump winning four hundred and some odd electoral votes mm-hmm. if Biden stayed in the race. So Biden was pressured by the Democrats to drop out, and he said no. Right. And the rumor is. When Biden did drop out, it was via tweet on like a Sunday. And the scuttlebutt, probably just rumors, who knows, is that they posted on his behalf and then said, Joe, it's done. We posted your resignation letter already. Wow. Yep. Well, he didn't come out and make a statement. And why do you think it is he's so pissed off? Rumor is behind the scenes, he didn't want to leave. And so they forced him out via a letter Without him saying anything, then the next day, what are you, you're sleepy, Joe. You wake up and you're like, what, what's going on? And they're like, you're not, you're out. You're out of the race. What do you mean? And they're like, we posted. It's too late. You can't do anything about it. So he's livid. Jill lost all her power. Correct. Hunter is on, on track yeah. to go to prison. Correct. So I think there's a decent probability this does happen for a few reasons. Joe, is he going to pardon Hunter Biden? He might. Or he steps down for health reasons. Kamala becomes president for two months. She pardons Hunter in exchange. And Joe. And Joe. Yep. Right. Blanket pardon for any perceived offenses, whatever. Ukraine, Burisma, all that stuff. I mean, he, Hunter's not that big of a deal if they pardon him. I mean, we, of course, we want it. We want us. Uh, we want it to go through the system just so that he's found not guilty because of the of the terror. I want him to sue to the Supreme Court. Right. And win. That's what we want. So we don't need him. To, we don't. It's not a huge deal if they pardon him. And even if he's found guilty, what's he get like a year, a couple of months probation? If if it doesn't. Yes. You know, it's not I want to I want to make sure this is on the record. I want Hunter Biden to beat both cases. There we go. Both the tax case and the gun case. I want him to sue to the Supreme Court and say, you cannot force American citizens to self-incriminate on background check forms. Because that's what they did. If you're if you're if you're a drug user, you can have a gun, right? Well, the government saying, tell us whether or not you're committing a crime is a violation of the Fifth Amendment. Second, the tax thing, okay, <clears throat> this one's up in the air. Maybe I don't really care about much about it. They're saying he was hiding his assets and hiding his income so he didn't pay taxes. But, you know, the IRS going after people for taxes. I'm also kind of like, yeah. I'm not I'm yeah. not a taxation is theft kind of guy, but I'm always cheering on somebody who beats the IRS. <laughs> so. But uh, in all seriousness, I want him to sue to the Supreme Court on the gun charge and win. The tax case, I'm kind of whatever about. I mean, that would be huge for for 2A. It could it could it could get rid of the background check yeah. forms. Yeah. Or or at least they'd have to remove any self-incrimination. Which, right. Yeah, which is which is big and would be a good thing. But that being said, more to the point. Yeah. Will Joe Biden pardon Hunter? Can he pardon himself? If there is a real fear, that the Burisma scandal, the quid pro quo he was engaged in and the documents case could result in charges. And they're all screaming Trump wants revenge, right? Mm-hmm. OK, if Trump is seriously considering <clears throat> going after Biden. I kind of think he might. Joe can pardon himself. Yes. That would be my position. He absolutely can do it if he wants to. But does it look better if he steps down Kamala Harris, then it gives him the pardon so it looks clean? Yeah, that's that's a total Nixon Ford thing. Exactly. That's just, a, that's just an obvious backroom deal. Exactly. So I think Trump may actually go after Biden. In 2016, you know, at the Trump rallies, I don't think Trump ever said lock her up. I think it was the, it was the rallies were chanting that. He yeah. did say you'd be in jail. That's what, that's what he Correct. said. So- then he gets elected and says, no, no, be nice, be nice. We're not going to do this. He showed his belly. And what did they do? They went right after him with Russiagate scandal, impeachment. And then in these past four years, false 34 fake charges, mm-hmm. yep. false uh, sexual abuse uh, a, a case, insane charges, false civil fraud. I, the I, bullshit I, document, too. That, I have a, I, oh, the documents case at the federal right. level, which they dropped right. now. Mm-hmm. I kind of feel like Trump's sitting there. And he's just like, the moment I get in, you're all, you're all going to jail. I don't see how Trump this time goes, no, I'm still going to let him get away with everything they did to me and my family. So that being said, Joe's going to have to issue himself a pardon on the documents 
or whatever, whatever other federal cases. Maybe he steps down. Kamala Harris does it. Nixon Ford, like you said. But uh, Joe's 95,000 years old. <clears throat> I, I'm sure he doesn't care about um, pardoning his son. If he has to pardon his son, he'll pardon his son. But also if he has to pardon himself or whatever he does, I don't think he gives an F at this point in time in his career. And I don't think we should go after him just because who cares about this old man doing whatever he wants to do on the beach sitting nowhere. There are other people we can go after. There's a lot of other people that are playing a bigger part in ruining the American way of life and the justice system. And Joe Biden, he's not one of them. I mean, I don't I don't see what you gain out of going after Biden. Yeah. You know, I mean, and to be honest with you, I do think that that Trump. I do think that Trump would like to see and this is just my my intuition, but I do think Trump would like to see a return to a normal behavior towards presidents. Right. Like. He, I, I'm sure he doesn't like that they went after him, sure, sure. and I do think that it, it, like, because of the way that he behaves with P, other people that have wronged him, like, if he doesn't hold grudges, like, he's not, like, there's a bunch of other times where, like, he's gotten into it with people, and then as soon as they say something nice about him, he's like... Oh, okay. Every, it's all water under the bygones. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I really do get the inclination that he doesn't hold grudges, and and I do think that he is not looking to punish Joe Biden specifically. Now, I I mean, I could be wrong. Obviously, I'm just sure. this is just this is just a guess. But I do think that because it is bad for the country, because it genuinely is, I do think that he like he doesn't see a whole lot of benefit to going after after Joe Biden or or Hunter Biden. He didn't go after Hillary Clinton and Hillary Clinton clearly had plenty of reason to investigate especially after all the stuff that with Comey and stuff. He I mean it's again it's just my incline it, my my Server in her bathroom yeah, hammers you know? to all the yeah. subpoenaed phones. Absolutely. Absolutely. Like so, Mayorkas is way more important than some other people that, that he should go after. Thanks for checking out this clip from TimCast IRL. Make sure to watch the show live Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. Subscribe to this channel and we will see you all there.